Hi, I'm Sky McAlpine and I am going to be showing you today how to make a fabulous showstopper Christmas pudding or Christmas dessert, which I like to call snowy panettone cake. It's a really simple recipe. It's from my new book, which is called A Table for Friends. And this is what it's gonna look like by the time we're finished. So it's a really easy matter of assembling ingredients kind of a recipe. We start with a whole panettone. I'm just going to peel off the paper that it comes wrapped in. Any kind of panettone will do for this. Um, it doesn't need to be a fancy one, it can be just like quite a cheap one. It also works really well with slightly stale panettone. It's a great way of bringing it back to life, making it a little bit more scrumptious and exciting to eat. And also you can really play around with the flavors. So I've got quite a traditional panettone here with candied peel and raisins, but you could also get one with chocolates or with nuts or whatever you like. Then what we're gonna do is slice it in half like this. So we've got two tiers. This is quite a squat panettone. Um, you know, it's quite short and round. So I'm just gonna do, slice it into two tiers. You might find some panettone is quite tall. It's sort of taller, maybe it has a slightly smaller base and it rises up higher. So in that case, you could maybe slice it in three. It doesn't matter too much, whatever works for you. So we've sliced it in two and then I'm gonna get my cake stand, which is what I'm gonna serve our snowy panettone cake on and for any, you know, whatever serving dish you're using and put the bottom layer here like that. And then, next step is I'm going to take some pistachio butter and spoon it on there and spread it all over this layer of panettone. Now you can buy pistachio butter, it's like my favourite thing, I kind of think it's like Nutella for grown-ups, it's so delicious. You can buy it from most Italian delicatessens and in actually quite a few supermarkets these days, but if you can't find any easily, you can also make your own, which is what I've done here. Um, it's really easy to make. What I've got here is about 120 grams of uh, pistachios, which I've just thrown in a food processor, along with about 60 grams of white chocolate and a heaped tablespoon of caster sugar, and then maybe um, a teaspoon or so of vanilla essence if you have it, and then blitz the whole thing until you have a smooth, creamy, spreadable butter like this, which we're just spreading on the layer. Um, and you could also use, if you wanted, you could use Nutella. Um, you can also leave it out if you don't like nuts, that's fine. Next, I'm gonna add some whipped cream. I've got about 400 grams here, 400 milliliters of cream that I've whipped. And I'm just gonna spread this out nice and evenly. You wanna spread it, you wanna whip the cream so it's quite stiff. Um, you obviously don't want to over whip it so that it looks curdled, but it kind of needs to be ideally stiff enough to support the weight of the two tiers of panettone, two or three tiers of panettone. A bit as if you were making a Victoria, an old fashioned Victoria sponge. Mm. There we go. And then we're going to pop our panettone hat on top and that is the base for our cake. So our next step is we're gonna cover the whole thing in meringue. Now, um, meringue is really easy to make. So I just made this ahead, I didn't wanna bore you. So it's just six egg whites is what I've got here, whisked together with about 300 grams of caster sugar. Here we go. And um, you just whisk the egg whites until they go white and frothy. And then once they start to kind of be quite cloud-like and frothy, that is when you start adding in spoonful by spoonful, whisking all the while you add your caster sugar. And that way you will get something that resembles soft meringue, which is what we've got here. And all we do is spoon that all over the panettone. We want to just cover the whole thing, just smear it on. You can see it's really messy business. It's meant to be messy. Don't worry, don't panic. You just kind of go with it and keep going. And I'm trying to spread it out as evenly as I can. There we go, we've got lots more here to spoon on. Yeah, the trick, of course, with meringue when you're making it is to make sure that there's absolutely no grease 
in the um, mixing bowl or on your whisk. It's just got to be the egg white. So when you're separating your eggs, you just want to be 100% sure that you don't have any egg yolks in that because if there's even just a speck, a tiny bit of yellow egg yolk, that will stop your meringue from kind of going this wonderful stiff texture, which is what you need it to do. Um, here we go, I'm just covering a spot here. And then all these swirls, these kind of slightly messy swirls, they are all good. They're all just part of the feel of the pudding. And what you'll see is at the very end, we're gonna take a blowtorch, which is literally my favorite piece of kitchen kit. Um, and we're gonna just burnish the meringue so you get that wonderful marshmallowy, that kind of toasted marshmallowy flavor, which I love. And we'll give also like lovely golden tips to all these snowy peaks that we're talking about on top of the cake. Last spoonful here, here we go, like that. And just keep spreading it on. It's really therapeutic, this. You'll see it's like very fun to do. It's kind of real child's play cooking. And um, yeah, I love this dish. And um, you'll see it looks really gorgeous and kind of looks really fabulous centerpiece for Christmas table. You might want to add a few frosted berries or just on top a little bit of, a couple of sprigs of holly um, and maybe a few red currants or a few kind of berries. So there we go, bears are basically our snowy mountain. I'm just gonna fill in this last little hole here. And you can see I'm kind of taking my spoon where I can and creating little peaks and swirls in the meringue. And that will give it a really nice texture once we start burning it with our blowtorch. Okay, here we go. Here's the panettone, layered with whipped cream, filled with pistachio butter and covered with meringue. And then we're just gonna take our blowtorch like this and just burst, giving that golden, lovely golden texture and all over the top and all over the sides. This doesn't take very long. Again, it's very therapeutic. It's a bit like growing up coloring in. And just keep going like so. And you can see the lovely, those lovely swirls that we made with, um, with the um, speck of the spoon. Okay, kind of take on this lovely, shape really like and there we go you just keep going until you've covered the whole thing and toasted all that marshmallowy meringue and this is a snowy panettone cake i really hope you enjoy it and i hope you have a very very happy christmas